Hello YouTube. Thought we'd do a video today on building a antenna for the GMRS uh, radios. Now there's a cool website as you can see that you uh, on the screen here. I'll post a link to his website down below. Um, you can enter in a frequency and it will tell you approximately the inches that it needs. Uh, this is a quarter wave ground plane uh, antenna calculator. Um, your best bet is to make sure you have an SWR meter to double check your SWRs. Uh, just because you cut it to a certain length doesn't guarantee it's going to be really good SWRs. So I highly recommend getting an SWR meter if you want to play with uh, any type of uh, antenna building. I did order the chassis mount uh, SO239 plugs. Um, so I can build an, an antenna like this and it will have, it's, it's a chassis mount, so it'll, it'll be like a square and it'll have four bolt holes in each corner, which will be great because I got to add these uh, ground planes on there. And this just tells you A, here's A, tells you the length for here, and it tells you the, the ground plane length at a 45 degrees. There's more info here you can read about too. Um, so I did buy like well the ones I got don't they're not bent over like this but you can bend the wire itself. Now I didn't see anything in here. As a matter of fact, right here even says the socket. So um, I didn't see anything in here. I mean I kind of glanced at this. I didn't really read it word for word about the diameter of the wire that should be used. So I see here they use all kinds of different types of wire. Um, you can get, you know, you can use copper wire, you can use steel rod. This is a type right here is a good picture of kind of what I got, except for this is an end connector. But my mine will be the uh, connector, the socket that will have the um, female uh, end on it uh, for the uh, PL259 plug. But it'll have the square base like this, so I can I can either solder the wires on like this, like this person did, or use small bolts. I bought, it was, I think it was on eBay. I, I Maybe I'll post a link. I bought like 10 of them for like $10. I know I don't need 10 of them, but you never know. Maybe I'll build a whole bunch of different antennas and I can compare them. So, I don't know. But for 10 bucks, why not? Maybe I'll, I'll find a link. To, I think it was eBay. But it, it, um, nevertheless, I'll, I'll, if I find that link, I'll post it in the description along with this website address. Now, I would, unless you want a specific frequency, I would pick like the middle frequency, um, as in the GMRS, uh, 22 channels, you know, pick kind of the middle one so that your SWRs will be, you know, pretty much, hopefully pretty even throughout the, throughout the, um, uh, bands. Um, that's why I kind of, I punched in here. Uh, you just leave this right here at this setting. Like I say, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff you can read about it, and it seems to be a pretty good little website. Um, like in this example, I let I punched in this frequency, the number A is six point or six inches exactly, the radius is six point seven two um, inches. Now again, with this type of antenna, you're going to have to tune it if you need to using an SWR meter. You'll have to carefully trim off the A to get the SWRs as low as possible. A guy could make this adjustable, I suppose, if you wanted to come up with a way of making this adjustable. So that when you screw it out, it makes the antenna longer. When you screw it in, it makes it shorter. You could use some of those, um, oh, I want to call them my like turnbuckles that they, you know, you can buy small versions that. I think that's what they call them. You could use something like that too, I, I suppose. Um, but like I said, I, I'll, I'll have a lot of um, connectors that make different antennas. I got the Nano VNA on its way. It's going to take a little bit to get here. I'm still waiting for my duplexer. That's going to take a little bit to get here. As for the repeater on the bluff, um, 
I'm waiting for the weather to get a little warmer and a little better. Uh, I was going to do it the other day, and of course it rains. Um, but in the meantime, I'm getting things kind of organized for that. So when the day comes, I can just hop in the truck, hook the trailer up, and go. So I'm being, you know, bring, uh, make like a little tool pouch with, you know, maybe some basic tools that I'm, you know, something uh, comes up, I have a tool. I don't want to drive all the way up there and have a problem. Then like, oh great, now I gotta run back to go get a tool. So I'm making up a little checklist, so to speak. Um, I will also print up, um, like I said in the other videos, I uh, uh, got permission to do this. I will print up a little note, and I'll have it taped to the repeater box. So if people come up, they don't freak out and what it is. Um, with, with the person's name who gave me permission, their telephone number, um, my license, and my personal telephone number, um, and that we're out doing distant testing. I'll make a note like that. I'll be taping to the uh, repeater box. But at any rate, so that's the deal with that. Uh, hopefully, uh, next week or so, I can get that done. Um, but I want to show you this website, thinking that, you know, someone you, you might want to play with it. And it's a cheap way to make an antenna. I mean, the nice thing about GMRS the the length ain't real long compared to like CB where you had to have you know eight foot antenna if you you know wanted to be a you know a 102 inch you know type whip or, or or you could use coils but but nevertheless this is pretty you know with these higher frequencies you can you can make a smaller antenna and the DB gain well that's hard there is a calculation for that um, but I'm gonna try to see if I can find out if it's possible for a person to roughly calculate the DBI gain. Um, I'm still checking into that. But, uh, but at any rate, um, like I said, here is the, the, you know, simple antenna you can make, save you some money. So you don't have to buy an antenna for $60 or so if you can use it for a repeater or for a, a base station. Um, at any rate, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them down below. Thank you and have a good day.